The Silk Route. Can you imagine what this worm is doing? It's producing a precious type of thread, silk. <laughs> Silk had its heyday in the Middle Ages. Aristocrats used it to make their clothes to show how rich they were. But for centuries, the method of making it was one of the best kept secrets in China. Chinese merchants travelled to the West to sell silk left over from back home. This is how an important trade route was established. The Silk Route. This route stretched all the way from China through Central Asia to the Mediterranean. The road was very long and dangerous, so merchants would join together to form caravans and travel in groups. They used camels and horses and crossed great open landscapes, deserts and fast-flowing rivers, as well as silk. They also carried gold, jewels, cloth, amber, ivory, glass, coral, tea, and spices. Bandits used to lie in wait to attack the caravans. <laughs> At night, the merchants would stay in fortified hostels called. Caravanserais. There, soldiers would protect them and charge them for it. But it was better than sleeping outside. The Silk Route made the towns and cities along its way famous and wealthy. Dunhuang, Samarkand, Damascus, Constantinople, Rome. It was the only communication route open between East and West. Marco Polo, a Venetian traveller, made the Silk Route famous when he wrote a diary about his journeys on it. For over a thousand years, the Silk Route made an interchange possible between cultures, languages, customs and religions. So you must never underestimate animals, no matter how small they are. A humble little worm might just turn out to change the course of history.